My job as a race car driver is not as unique as you might think. There's one occupation that offers a striking resemblance. What is that? A sumo wrestler. I know what you're thinking. What can a race car driver possibly have in common with a sumo wrestler? We're both experts in weight management, and that's what we're talking about today on The Racing Line. Now, most of you are probably thinking, I'm crazy for comparing my skinny self to a sumo wrestler. I know, I know, the two careers could not be more different. But hear me out. My job as a race car driver is to win the race. A sumo wrestler's job is to win the bout. And how do we do that? Weight management. It's my job to manage the weight of the car for the fastest lap time. And it's Bayamba's job to eat 4,000 calories a day to maintain his physique. Now that you see what I'm getting at, let's get started. Not too long ago, Driver's Ed used to teach everyone about weight management. In particular, when you encountered a deer on the road. What were you told to do? Hit the brakes, right? No, because that would transfer weight to the front of the car and drop the nose, increasing your chances of getting injured by creating a deer ramp into the car. Instead, they told you to hit the gas. Hitting the gas would transfer weight to the rear of the car, raising the nose and allowing you to effortlessly drive over the deer rather than having it join you inside the car. In modern times, suspensions have become far more sophisticated. More focus has been put on safety through better handling. Because of this, cars don't pitch, roll, and dive like they used to. They stay relatively level and flat. You can no longer see the weight transfer like you could in the good old days. For demonstration purposes, we've had to bring in a much taller vehicle with more suspension travel, so you can better see the weight being transferred around. Now, before I show you what weight transfer looks like, let me show you where it gets transferred to in the tire rack minute. The only part of the car that touches the ground is the bottom of the tire, the contact patch. As you can see, there's not a lot of rubber actually touching the pavement. Multiply this by four, and that's the only thing keeping you attached to the road. That's why it's important to transfer load to the tires that need the grip. The more weight or load you put on a tire, the better it sticks. Try this right now. Lightly brush your fingers across whatever you have in front of you. Now do it again, but push harder. What happens? Your finger sticks because you've added more load to it. More load, more grip. Now, to demonstrate weight transfer on track, we're going to employ the help of our sumo wrestler, Stunt Double. Let's do a lap of the track. Now watch, wherever the balls go, that's where the load is. Okay, we're easing down the straightaway, driving nice and straight and level, not transferring much weight, adding more speed, heading for turn one, where we're gonna dive into this like now. <laughs> okay, a little rough back there, eh, buddy? Turning left, the load and the weight transfers to the right. Turning to the right, the weight and load transfers to the left. Shoot, this van handles great. <laughs> what do you think about weight transfer, Mr. Sumo Wrestler Stunt Double? Oh, that was a big one. And down the front, straight away we go. Accelerating sends weight towards the back. Braking, weight moves forward. Oh, it's mayhem. Oh, the humanity or the mannequin enemy. Oh. Now let's break it down at a slower pace. Coming into the corner, brake hard and straight. The load is now transferred to the front tires. As you turn in, release the brakes slowly and trail brake, using that load to help steer the car. Then as soon as you know you will make the apex, ease onto the gas, transferring load to the rear wheels for traction, and open the throttle as you straighten the wheel and rock it out of the turn. This is the fastest way to get around a corner. So whether you're a sumo wrestler, 
or a race car driver, learn to manage your weight. And should you encounter a deer, hit those brakes and use those loaded front tires to steer safely around him. And on that note, transfer your weight wisely, driving enthusiasts, and we'll see you next time on The Racing Line. If you like watching The Racing Line, here's a teaser for the next episode, live right now on Motor Trend On Demand. <laughs> I've come to grips with the fact that I'm middle-aged, or a veteran, if you will. Okay, so after 500 road races, I'm a veteran. But you're never too old to learn something new. So today, I'll be tackling a new racing line in a truck. Wait, you really want me to drive a truck? I don't do trucks. Or do I? They are kind of badass. On second thought, let's drive some trucks! Watch the latest episode of The Racing Line right now on Motor Trend On Demand. There, there. Did that mean Lincoln tried to hit you? Good boy. Good boy.